Hello dear children. Today we will read a very interesting and a very nice story. The name of the story is Ismat's Eid. Written by Faiza Gilani Williams, illustrated by Prothi Roy. Publishers Tulika Publishers. Let's start. Ismat's Eid. Ismat the shoemaker had been very busy. Tomorrow was Eid. All day people had been trying out new shoes and now they were all sold out. Ah, sighed Ismat. At last I can go and buy some gifts for my family. He closed his little shoe stall and walked down to the clothes shop. Assalamu alaikum Hamza. Ismat greeted the shopkeeper. I want to buy my wife a burqa for Eid. Wa alaikum salam, replied Hamza. I have just the one for her. And perhaps a dupatta for my mother, asked Ismat. How about this one, said Hamza, pulling out a bright blue cloth embroidered with tiny beads. And some bangles for my daughter. Hamza showed Ismat hundreds of bangles. It was very hard to choose. They were all so pretty. Ismat was pleased with the gifts. He paid Hamza and turned to leave. Wait, called Hamza. What about you? Your trousers are full of patches. Why don't you buy yourself a new pair? Ah. Perhaps I will, said Ismat. But when they looked, they found only one pair of trousers. Ismat held them up to his waist. Four fingers too long, he said. He pulled on his beard and then looked up at Hamza with a smile. Mm, could you shorten them for me, please? Um, I'm so sorry replied Hamza. Ah, uh, not today. I have to get ready for Eid. Why don't you ask your wife? Mm, that's a good idea, nodded Ismat and hurried home. This is beautiful, exclaimed Yasmin when she saw the burqa. I love the color. I will wear it for Eid. Then she looked at Ismat and said, Did you get anything for yourself? Yes, said Ismat. Uh, a pair of trousers. Yasmin held up the trousers and frowned. These are four fingers too long, she said. Yes, said Ismat. Um, could you shorten them for me? Not today, she replied. I have no time. Tomorrow is Eid and I have to make biryani. Why don't you ask your mother? Ismat went to see his mother Habiba. Amma, I have bought you a gift, he said and pulled out the bright blue dupatta. This is beautiful, exclaimed Habiba. I love the color. I will wear it for Reed. Then she looked at Ismat and said, Did you get anything for yourself? Yes, said Ismat. A pair of trousers. Habiba held up the trousers and frowned. Hmm, these are four fingers too long, she said. Yes, said Ismat. Could you shorten them for me? Not today, said his mother. I have no time. Tomorrow is Eid and I have to make sheer korma. Why don't you ask Mehjabin? Ismat went to see his daughter. Mehjabin, I have brought you a gift, said Ismat. He pulled out the bangles. They are beautiful, Abu, Mehjabin exclaimed. 
I love the colors. I will wear them for Eid. Then she looked at her father and asked, Did you get anything for yourself? Yes, he replied. I want a pair of trousers. Mahajabeen held up the trousers and frowned. Abu, these are four fingers too long, she said. Yes, said Ismat. Could you shorten them for me? I am sorry, Abu, not today, said Mehjabin. I have no time. Tomorrow is Eid and I have to make samosas and take care of the baby. So Ismat went back home, took a pair of scissors and cut off a few inches from the bottom of his trousers. Then he hemmed up the edges. My trousers are ready for read, he said and folded them neatly and placed them on the table. Then he called to Yasmin and said he was going to visit the poor and sick to give them money for Eid. While Ismat was out, Yasmin said to herself, Ismat is such a good husband. She unfolded his trousers cut off four fingers from the bottom, hemmed the edges, folded them again and put them back on the table. Then she went into the kitchen to finish her cooking. While Habiba was making Sheer Korma, she thought, Oh, Ismat is such a good son. So she went to Ismat's house, took his trousers, cut off four fingers from the bottom, hemmed the edges folded them again and put them back on the table. Then she went back home to finish her cooking. While Mahajabin was making samosas, she thought, Abu is such a good father. So she went to her father's house, picked up the trousers, cut off four fingers from the bottom, hemmed the edges, folded the trousers again and put them back on the table. Then she went back home to finish her cooking. In the morning, everyone came to Ismat's house so they could go to the mosque together. Yasmin wore her burqa, her biba wore her bright blue dupatta and Mahajabin wore her pretty bangles. Ismat, said Yasmin, try on your trousers. Just then, Habiba came in. Son, she said, try on your trousers. Mahajabin came along too. Abu, she said, try on your trousers. Ismat looked at them and thought, they are so wonderful. Even if they didn't have time to shorten my trousers, they are still very wonderful. He went to his room to put on his trousers. His wife and mother and daughter all waited with big smiles on their faces. Suddenly, from the bedroom came a howl. Oh ho! Ya Allah! What happened? cried Yasmin. What's the matter? cried Habiba. What's wrong? cried Majabin. Ismat stepped out of his room. His new Eid trousers hung up to his knees. Yasmin and Habiba and Majabin all gasped and covered their mouths. I cut them by four fingers, said Yasmin. But I cut them by four fingers, said Habiba. I cut them by four fingers too, said Mahajabin. And I cut them by four fingers, said Ismat. For a moment, there was silence. Then Ismat began to laugh and they all began to laugh. Let's sew the pieces back, said Yasmin. Yes, 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 said Ismat and watched while Mahajabin and Habiba and Yasmin worked on his trousers. In a short while, they were ready and as Allah would have it, they fit perfectly. Dressed in their new Eid clothes, 
off. They went to the mosque. The end. I hope children, you all enjoyed this funny, beautiful story. Share it with your friends and family and hit the like button. We'll be back with another story soon. Till then, happy reading.